individuality t-shirt have you seen it up close it's so cool you can get them on my website if you want one and also my pink and purple pajamas bottoms what kind of pajamas are you in are you in your pajamas i hope you are because if you're not you better run and get into them and come back ready for the story Shh. red ted is asleep tonight he needed an early night so he put himself up there and went to sleep always tonight's story are you cozy are you comfy just get comfy too tonight's story is written by my friend ruth who lives in england and is quite famous i went to visit her recently that was really cool her name's ruth louise signs and this book's illustrated by rosie reed and it's called Mondays at Monster School. Well, and it's even got her sign. She signed it for us there. It is always cool to have a signed book, isn't it? By the author. Have you got a signed book by the author? Hmm, I bet you have. Mondays at Monster School. Fred's brother and sisters went to Monster School already. Fred wanted to go too. Can I, when can I go? said Fred. Very soon, Fred. Very soon, Fred's mum said. Fred's mum's all purple. She's got spikes on her back. Little Fred is red with green spikes and a little monster teddy bear. And then one day, a Monday, it was the day, Fred's first day. And Fred suddenly wasn't so sure he wanted to go to monster school after all. Come on, Fred, it's mud splashing on mo at monster school on Mondays, Fred's mum said. Fred liked mud splashing. But still, can you see where Fred's hiding? There he is. Gone down under his bed covers. Fred didn't want to eat his breakfast. Bug Crispies for breakfast. I heard they have... Fred didn't want to eat his Bug Krispies for breakfast. I heard they have howling and growling on Mondays at Monster School, Fred's mum said. Fred loved howling and growling, but still. Just then, there was a loud knock at the door. Can you see the Bug Krispies? It was Ted's dad. What's wrong? said Fred's mum. It's Ted. He doesn't want to go to school and he's hiding, Ted's dad said. I'll help you find him, said Fred's mum. Me too, said Fred. Here they go. Off to Ted's house to find Fred. No, off to Fred's house. No, I got confused. They're not going off there at all. They're going to <laughs> Ted, Ted's dad's house. Where can he be? said Fred's mum. This isn't like Ted, said Ted's dad. What's wrong, Ted? said Fred. Ah, Fred found Ted hiding behind a tree. See that? Hmm. 
I don't want to go to monster school, said Ted. I'm scared. Oh, said Fred. I heard they have howling and growling on Mondays. I like howling and growling, said Ted. And mud splashing in the afternoon, said Fred. Fred grinned at Ted, and Ted grinned at Fred. Mum, called Fred. Dad, called Ted. We want to go to school. They are chatting away about school. Come in, come in, said the teacher, Mr Stinkwort. You're just in time for slime painting. I like slime painting, painting, said Fred. Me too, said Ted. Slime painting. Whoa, whoa, wow. Maybe you could do some slime painting. After painting, it was howling and growling. Grrr, ho, grrr. Next came stomping and stamping. Stomp, stomp, stamp, stamp, stomp, stomp. Samantha stomped so hard that green smoke came out of her ears. I wonder if you stomped really hard, you'd have green smoke coming out of your ears. Here they are howling and growling at each other. The one at the back there is going, oh. And here she is, stomping and stomping. Fred and Ted and Samantha and George made a huge tower of bricks and then knocked it down. Here they are building it up. And here they are knocking it down. Do you do that with your towers of bricks? Blocks. At lunchtime, Fred had two helpings of stink worms. Mmm. And Ted had three helpings of dung beetles. Mmm. Samantha had fly pie and George had spider jelly. Mmm. Mmm. I love monster school food, said Fred. Me too, said Samantha and George. My beetles keep running away, said Ted. <laughs> you might be able to spy a beetle or a spider on somebody's back. Can you see it? <laughs> then there was mud splashing in the afternoon. Oops, said Ted. That's it. Make sure you get nice and messy, Mr. Stinkwort said. <laughs> looks like Ted threw some. Or oh, looks like uh, Fred. I've got to go back and check who's who here. Because I always get confused. Yes, Fred. Fred is throwing mud at Mr. Stinkwort. See that? Wow, splash. At the end of the day, there was a story about a yucky prince and a nice monster. And then it was time to go home. Oh, they look pretty happy, all having a story read to them. It's like me with my glasses on, isn't it? And you guys are all listening to the story. Oh, said Fred, I don't want to go home yet. Monday's at monster school at a fun. Don't worry, Fred, Mr. Stinkwort said. If you think Mondays at Monster School are fun, just wait till you try Tuesdays. So, he didn't want to go to school. He was a bit scared. And then he went and he loved it and he couldn't wait to go back. That happens sometimes, eh? When you are a bit frightened of something or worried about something and then you do that thing and actually it turns out fine every time and that's what my song's about tonight this is one that not many people listen to I don't think but you're going to be able to go and listen to this afterwards it's called Unfamiliar Places I'll grab my guitar I don't play it very often so I guess we'll see what happens <laughs> 
when I do play it tonight for you guys. Oh, Ted's still sound asleep. Slept his way through this. I'll just have a sip of this uh, cup of tea. It's actually lemon and lime tea. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. What's that? What's up ahead or just around the corner? It's a place that you've never been before. What's that? What's up ahead or just around the corner? It's a new territory to explore. Who's that? Who's up ahead or just around the corner? It's a place that you've never seen before. Who's that? Who's up ahead or just around the corner? It's a personality you can explore. It's always hard, don't feel alone. Stepping out of your comfort zone. It's always tough, don't get too stressed. It's not like you have to pass a test. Unfamiliar places, unfamiliar faces. It's what makes the world more interesting and opens up our minds. Unfamiliar places, unfamiliar faces, it broadens our horizons, you don't know who or what you'll find. What's that? What's up ahead or just around the corner? An activity you never ever tried. What's that? What's up ahead or just around the corner? It's a skill that you haven't yet acquired. Stepping out of your comfort zone It's always tough, don't get too stressed It's not like you have to pass a test Unfamiliar places, unfamiliar faces It's what makes the world more interesting And opens up our minds Unfamiliar places, unfamiliar faces It broadens our horizons You don't know who or what you'll find Places, unfamiliar faces, it's what makes the world more interesting and opens up our minds. Unfamiliar places, unfamiliar faces, it broadens our horizons, you don't know who or what you'll find. Unfamiliar places, unfamiliar faces, unfamiliar places, unfamiliar faces. enjoyed that reggae style song unfamiliar places and i hope you enjoyed our story tonight mondays at monster school school by my friend ruth louise signs uh, enjoy your sleep sleep tight get cozy have lovely dreams and i'll see you back here again tomorrow night for more stories and songs Mwah! thank you night night see you tomorrow bye